Hi Ethan, it's Daddy here. Hope you're doing amazing. I'm enjoying the summer. It's beautiful weather out there. Um, still, obviously, think about you every day. And I've been thinking a lot about you recently. And yeah, just imagining how you are now after some time has passed and since my last video. And yeah, I've still got no contact with your mother. She hasn't contacted me. Um, as I s told you in the um, last last video update, or the one before last, I wrote letters to your mum, to Pete, to your grandmother, and nobody replies, not to my messages. Can I just state that I've done absolutely nothing wrong? I've only ever loved you, I've only ever provided for you and I'm very sad that they, for whatever reason, the family wants to alienate me and not have me in your life whatsoever. Well, this isn't acceptable, um, you know, because you don't know, really know me and I have so much to give you, so much to offer you. Um, I want to try and give you whatever small pieces of wisdom I've picked up in my life. I want to be a father to you. I want, I want to, I, you know, I want to experience life with you. And I'm always here for you. And I'm always thinking of you. And I'll always love you regardless of the situation. So I've thought long and hard, and it's been I, I can't even say how long it's been since your mother completely cut me off for no apparent reason, but except for me saying. I want to talk to you for 10 minutes on a voice call or a video call every week. That, that was basically what pushed her over the edge mentally of cutting me off. So for whatever reasons she has, that's her thing. And I still respect her and I still love her as your mother. And I would never speak badly to her and I would never speak badly about her. But I sincerely do not agree with what she's doing. It's unjust, it's unfair, it's unfair on me, but it's especially unfair on you. And it really is really damaging your childhood and, and your mental health long term. And when I see you and when we get together, and I don't know when that will be, but I hope it's in the not too distant future. Maybe you're a very young man, maybe you're still a boy, maybe you're an adult. Whoever and whatever you are, I'll be proud of you and I'm here to listen to you first and foremost. And if you want to take any advice off me or you want to talk to me, you want to find out about me, then I'm here for you like I've always said and I've always been. So where to now? After thinking long and hard, I don't even know whether you are alive and well. So the only option I have now, very sadly, um, I messaged your mother actually from a different WhatsApp, so she should have got the message, and I said to her, look, you have to be in contact with me for your sake, for your well-being, and out of love I'm doing this. I need to know that you're okay. And the only way I see now is that I'm going to get it involved the local police, and with the local police, I'm going to get them to come around the house. I'm going to get them to check and make sure you're okay. And just so I know that. So that's first and foremost, the most important thing. And anything else that will come after, um, I and we will take it from there. Because the only thing that really matters to me is your well-being your well-being, your physical health, your mental health and your development as a human being from childhood into the teenage years which are perhaps the hardest time you'll ever face in your life. Very confusing time for, for almost, almost all humans. And then finally into adulthood. And I have many thoughts about life. I'm a very introspected character, introspected human being. I ask a lot of questions internally and in turn I'm objective, subjective and openly confrontational 
to ask questions externally and for me the important thing is to do that with love in the heart with spirit and without any fear and the more the deeper I go inside of myself the deeper I try and understand what is the nature of this human reality on this planet that we're living the more fearless I am and that's only in the benefit of, of you, of Maya, your sister, who is now seven, coming up eight months old. And I hope you have a wonderful relationship with her because I love you both unconditionally. You're going to be the best of friends. It's so amazing that you're your sister. And it's so sad, so sad that your dear mother and the family on your heartless side, not your field and side, has chosen to take these steps for no apparent reason other than something to do with something mentally, some trauma, something that they have against me. We, okay, I spoke to you openly about the history. You can also, I'll put a link below, you can read in the Infinite Book. I'll, gi I'll give you a copy of the Infinite Book. The Infinite Book is a book about my art and my life which I've created, which I, I want you to have when the time is right. Now is perhaps too early for you to, to, to take in the subject matter and really understand it, but when the time is right, you will have a copy and, and you will know, you will come to know who I am. And I hope, if you so wish, that I'll play a huge role in your life and your development and also you in my developments you know i can learn a lot from you you're a younger person but soul to soul we can learn a lot from each other and um, i long for that day to come and it will come so this may be an incident if the police are coming round, you will probably know about it and it's probably going to be quite a an unsettling thing but it is the only and necessary step that I feel is the right step for me to move forward for your best interests and out of love. I never want to get involved with the authorities. I've told you on this since day one. I mean, I strongly stand against the tyranny that's unfolding in the world, especially in the Western world with the World Economic Forum and their 2030 Agenda and the police are just, um, the, na the nation's police are just an arm of that. Of course, there's wonderful police officers and they do a wonderful job, but they, they know not what they do very often. So they enforce the most ridiculous things. But when you need them, when the time is there for important matters and personal matters, in this case, this is for your well-being and your future and I need to know you're okay. First and foremost, step one, are you okay, Ethan? And if the answer is yes, then I'll feel a lot happier about that. But we will progress from there and, and I will do what I need to do to re-establish a relationship with you unconditionally from a place of love and nothing will hold me back. And that is the end of, the end of what I have to say right now. But, um, yeah, in the spirit of love, I keep you in my heart and I am also in your heart. So, all my love to you. Thank you for being there for me. Not in person, but if I say in the stillness, there is no distance between me and you. Because souls that are kindred, souls that are entangled, what we are beyond this temporary, ever-changing material form, uh, two spiritual creatures, two souls who have done this, who have been part of this dance for time immemorial, and we will keep dancing together, and our history is long and vast and rich and absolutely diverse. and. You're always with me and I'm always with you.
And until the time comes when we see each other again in this world, in this life, as I hope, then I just feel, I just feel you with me. And it's very important right now, very important that we're together at the moment, spiritually, beyond form, but in the not too distant future. I hope so much in form and we'll have so much fun and we'll talk and we'll play and we're going to learn so much from each other so love to you my son my monster multiverse co-creator I love you so much